On a warm summer day, there's nothing more tasty than a popsicle to help cool you off. There's also nothing like an Atlanta original King of Pops popsicle, which is a little bit different than the average. We're not at all are we like your average popsicle. We use f uh, food influences and we, we build them into our, our uh, pop recipes. For example, things like pineapple habanero. Would you think of that as a popsicle? Delicious. And believe it or not, there's a science behind making those pops taste so good. Do you recall trying to make popsicles at home? Well, you put your favorite drink in a tray or cup and it comes out tasting like a block of ice. So how does it work for commercial pop makers? There are a few things at work here, but two that stand out. Number one is time. On average, it takes six hours for liquid to freeze in our home freezers. During the process, water is removed from the flavoring and becomes ice crystals. The longer time it takes to freeze, the larger the ice crystals will grow. So you taste more water than flavor. Commercial makers use super fast freezers, which shorten the time to 20 minutes or less. This keeps the ice crystals small and provide a better mix of flavor. The second key is ingredients. All of the taste you get comes from the fruit cred credentials that are placed into it. Add a little sweetener, but the, the really secret ingredient that we leverage here and it's really balanced is salt. Salt helps to create the texture and sensory experience that you end up with without popsicles. Pure water will freeze at 32 degrees. Adding salt lowers that temperature, similar to how it works on roads. This further limits the growth of ice crystals, creating a very smooth texture. Time and ingredients have to have the right balance. And here at the King of Pops, they have it down to a science. So unless you're gonna upgrade your home freezer, buy a lot, purchase your pops like me.